Welcome to Future Self Dreaming. My name is Carlos Kukulkan. Continuing with the exploration of Gnosticism, we are going to explore the concept of the fourth way. One of the more contemporary contributors to the Gnostic path is the Armenian philosopher, mystic and spiritual teacher, George Gurdjieff, who introduced the approach to self-development known as the fourth way. To appreciate the efficacy of the fourth way, it may be necessary to understand the more traditional first three paths that led to spiritual enlightenment, as well as the traps and pitfalls of these ways. The first three ways are that of the fakir, the monk and the yogi. The way of the fakir develops mastery through controlling the physical body using challenging physical exercises and postures. Engaging in these practices aims at developing willpower primarily to overcome sensation, appetites and limitations of the physical body. The way of the monk is essentially an emotional discipline aimed at developing the spiritual nature through peace and harmony cultivated in the heart born of devotion and faith. The way of the yogi obtains self-mastery through working with the mind, learning to gain control over mental habits and via meditation and contemplation leading to ecstasy and samadhi. The yogi works to release the inherent consciousness from the hypnosis of life in the material world. The three traditional paths generally require a complete renunciation of previous life in order to join an order or find a teacher that specializes in one of the paths, such as various religions of Christianity, Buddhism or Islam. A, co a complete and total commitment is necessary to these paths. Gurdjieff insisted that these paths, although they may intend to seek to produce a fully developed human being, tend to cultivate certain faculties at the expense of others. Examples of developing one faculty at the expense of another are that excessive focus on the body overlooks the emotional dimension crucial for understanding human behaviour. Excessive focus on emotions glosses over the inquisitive nature of the mind and takes too many things for granted and excessive focus on the mind lapses into pointless debate and impractical theorizing. The traps and limitations associated with each of these traditional paths may be that the path of the fakir can lead to self-abuse and self-torture. The path of the monk may negate human relationships and healthy emotional human development, and the yogi may become further entrapped, hypnotized and imprisoned by the various egos which they seek to dissolve. Many seekers of the mysteries exhaust the first three paths along their search for enlightenment, not realizing that there is a fourth way that leads to the development of a healthy, sane, ethical, responsible and harmonious human being who is able to respond to the challenges that life presents by integrating the traditional paths along a path of self-development and self-mastery, living in the world but not being of it. The fourth way transcends the limitations of the first three paths by learning to live not with self-torture and abuse, but by developing self-respect and living a virtuous life, not by becoming a hermit, but engaging the world in heartfelt, complementary relationships between men and women, in alchemical marriage and tantric union, partnerships that engage in energetic practices designed to develop an astral or energetic body able to explore the mysteries of life rather than just astral desires. Gnosticism teaches that we are all born with a divine spark within and it is the practices that fan the flame of that spark, igniting the fire from within. These practices are necessary if an individual is to awaken within the dream from the hypnotic slumber that keeps the masses unaware of their divine origins. Upon birth, the divine spark or soul becomes dormant, encapsulated by personality, belief and disbelief, essentially trapping us within the matrix, until the smouldering embers either become dust and ashes or a reignited and direct experience of the divine is awakened within us. The fourth way does involve certain conditions that may be imposed by a teacher, but unlike religions, blind acceptance of them is discouraged. Each student is advised to do only what they understand and to verify for themselves the teachings ideas. It is not enough to simply know about the fourth way. 
it must be practical and experienced in daily life. Unlike traditional schools associated with the first three paths that have been permanently fixed and associated with religion, the fourth way has no permanence, coming and going as esoteric mystery school teachings that rise out of the great universal tides in various times and places in human development. Their purpose is threefold. Firstly, to dissolve the ego, to recognize oneself in the other, to love thy neighbor as thyself, or as the Mayan stated in Lakesh, the recognition that I am another yourself. Secondly, to transmute sexual energy, the great, the great creative life force, and in so doing, create subtle inner bodies, the transdimensional vehicle of the Merkaba. And thirdly, in service to humanity and our deep ecology with the cosmos. As an aside, it is interesting to note that Gurdjieff, at one stage a student of Sufism, taught sacred dances or movements, now known as Gurdjieff movements, which were performed together as a group. It may be suggested that other teachers of the mysteries, such as Carlos Castaneda, may have taken some creative license from Gurdjieff in forming the energetic movements and magical passes designed for energetic recapitulation, known as tensegrity. As with other great works of inspirational Gnostic art, Inspiration, embedded within the modern-day Gnostic TV series titled The OA, are also found magical passes used for the resurrection of the human being from the realm of death and the trans-dimensional travel between timelines within the multiverse. I hope that you've enjoyed this presentation. For information on counselling sessions, tea ceremonies and workshop events, please visit futureselfdreaming.com. You can follow on social media sites by searching for Future Self Dreaming in Lakesh.